So we got about a half an hour before it gets truly dark around here. I thought I'd go for a little walk. The other day I made a video about what creative hobbies I want to spend my time doing and getting good at, and that leads to all sorts of existential dread about what causes I should be devoting my time and energy to. Right, because I want to make the world a better place and there's plenty of evidence to suggest that the way I'm spending my time right now isn't the most effective way of doing that. There's this movement called effective altruism and it's about how you should spend your money, but the basic idea is you should be donating to the causes that are proven to be able to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people in the world. So right, effective altruists will tell you to donate a lot of money to people who distribute malaria nets because that is a very cheap, simple, proven way to prevent people from getting a deadly, preventable disease. And I absolutely agree that if you have some money to spare, spending it on preventing malaria is a really good use of your money. But sometimes I wonder if the argument of effective altruism makes it harder for us to think about need in our own communities. You know, I think about, for a long time, the University of Chicago, which is a very wealthy institution located in the middle of the predominantly poorer, blacker south side of Chicago, didn't have a trauma center. And the university hospital for a long time argued that, well, we're spending all of our resources to do things like research the cures to some of the world's deadliest diseases, to which a lot of community members responded, well, our friends and family and loved ones are getting wounded and killed by gun violence right here, right now. And the fact that you're not spending any of your resources to help us feels pretty cruel. And then selfishly, of course, I think back to myself, and I don't have a lot of money to spend, but the things that I'm most interested in spending my time doing, things like arts education, classical music, poetry, feel like a lot more indirect ways of helping the planet than violence and disease and poverty. Like when I haven't been writing poetry or interacting with the poetry community in a while, it's easy for me to think, oh, the poetry community is so insular, they just write for themselves and each other. But you know what? The poetry community is big enough and thoughtful enough of a community to matter to the world. And in moments like these where I'm between jobs and I have a lot of free time alone, at best to effectively plan and strategize ways of giving my time and money, and at worst, lots of time for very crippling self-doubt, I certainly do have a lot of questions about the things I'm drawn to and whether they're actually helping the world. But in times where I'm actively doing the work, where I'm actively contributing to a creative community where everyone cares about the same kinds of things, that kind of work feels a lot easier to justify. 